All right, in the last video, I showed you how to get your high scoreboard of your 10 high scores for your game by using Flash to call a PHP file, which then talked to a MySQL database, and then pulled the um, top 10 scores for your game, and then um, put them into 10 text boxes in your Flash game. So I showed you how to do that in the last video. But what I didn't show you to do, how to do is, what if you get a new high score in your game, and you need to insert that new high score into the database. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. OK, so I've made some additions here to make that work. All right, first of all, on the high score, um, so we have a preloader here, preloader, which we haven't written yet. There is no prelo preloader. And then the playhead's going to go here and stop on the high scoreboard, right? And it's going to populate high scores here, right? And so what I did so far is, when it does that, we need to find out what is the um, lowest score. And that's going to go right here in this text box, right here, which is this dynamic text box called S9. Right? You can see it right there. There's the name of it. So we're going to go to Action Script. And you'll see one thing I did was, is I've said var variable low high score equals zero. So when we stop the playhead, first of all, I create a variable called low high score. It's capital H there, capital S, and set it to zero. And then this code loads the top 10 high scores. But you see what I've done is I've added this piece right here. And I've said when we loop through all of the high scores, right, we loop through 10 times. I starts at zero, and then I ends at nine. And so then I've put in an if statement right here that says if i equal equals 9, right, then change low high score variable equal to whatever s9.txt, whatever is in the text box. Okay, so s9.txt, right, or I could say that I could actually change it to, you know, this dot, this score plus i, right. But I want to just have whatever it's in the S9 text box equals low high score, right? And then I also put some uh, piece of code right here for a button to then go to game on. Because right now we stop on the high scoreboard and the game is stuck right here. So I had to put in this button so that we can move on right now. So I put in this button right here, click to begin, and it's btn underscore start here. And that's why you see that, this piece of code right here. OK. So we press the button, and it takes us um, to pass the intro over here to Game On. And in Game On, we start our game, right? And so the character's moving around, we're shooting, whatever. And the game's not finished yet. So normally, we'd be playing, and then we'd be building a score here. And at the end of our game, the playhead would jump to the game over screen. But right now, the game never ends because I haven't finished the game. So I put another test button here that will, if you click on it, it'll take us to the game over screen. So you'll see here, this button is called go underscore btn. You can see it right here. And then I'll just show you really quickly. I put another um, piece of code right here. Uh, go underscore btn dot on press handler equals a function and then go to the game over frame label. Okay. All right. So then now we finally get to the game over frame label. And um, I've got some important pieces to tell you about here. Well, first of all, this is just static text, static text, static text. What does that mean? If you click on the text box and you go to the property window, you see text here, it says it's static text. There's three types of text. Static text, dynamic text, input text, right? So then this one, though, is um, dynamic text, and it's called message underscore txt. So this will give us a message once we've properly inserted a high score into the high score board. It'll relay a message. So it's named message underscore txt, and the color is red. Then over here, this is where we will fill in our name if we get a high score. And I've called that name underscore txt. And I've set it to input text type because we have to fill in the field. We're going to fill in our own initials. So instead of making it a dynamic text block, 
we make it input text. And I've set the maximum characters down here under options to three, maximum characters three. I've set it to this very, um, show border around text is this button right here, which enables it to have the white background and then the blinking cursor and all that. Okay, that's this button right here. And aside from that, I've set some other properties here, no big deal. And then this is where the score, where your score would go. So let's say you have a high score. Well, the score will show up here, right? And this is supposed to be a dynamic text box called score underscore text. But for my purposes here, we need to kind of um, input our own score since we don't have a score. So I changed it to an input text box for right now. So input text box is what it is right now. When the game is finished, of course, and we have a score, then I'll change that to a dynamic text box. And that's called score underscore text. And then we just have a button called, uh, and its name is, its instance name is submit underscore btn. And then here is the action script for this. Um, eventually, what I want to do is, is I want to test to see uh, whether the score box is greater than the low high the value of our low high score variable that we set up on the on the earlier frame and if it is then you'll get a message like congratulations submit your initials in a high score or you'll get a message you did not get a high score please try again so that's the first thing we want to do is we only want to be able to register a score if they've got a new high score and how do you get a new high score well if your score is greater than if <laughs> score underscore text dot text is greater than the lowest high score on the board. So that was my idea. Uh, amazing logic right there. Okay, um, then we create two load vars objects, one called player, one called player registered. Then this one says player registered on load, run a function called show result, which I'll talk about in a minute. And then the submit button, this is where everything happens. When you fill it, once you filled in your initials, and in this case we're going to fill in our score, we'll click the submit button. And on release handler, so once we've we release the submit button, it's going to call this function called submit score. When that happens, then function submit score is right here. The player load vars object, see player equals new load vars, has a name property dot name property and player.score, the score property, or score object, um, and are set to the name text box and the score text box, the value in the name text box and the score text box. So we take our player load vars object and give it a name property and a score property equal to the name and score, whatever's in those two fields, dynamic text boxes. And then we send and load and call the register.php file, which I'll show you in a minute. And once that's done, we also call a uh, player registered, um, we call the player registered losvard object, which will, once it's loaded, will, um, once this loads, the player register will fire, and this onload method will fire, and show result will happen. So once this register.php file does its thing and everything is sended and loaded then this method will call this onload method right here or this player registered uh, rather load vars object will call the onload method and when it does it'll show result this function and that this function will give us our message box and it'll change the name and the score text box back to nothing and then it will play the playhead so that we can jump off of this playhead and we can play and then eventually we'll get back to frame 10 and so this will play when it gets here to frame 65 it'll tell it to go to and stop the high scores database so we can see our new high score let's give it a try so what I'll do is I'll hit file save I'll output a movie and then I'll test it out on my web server, my local web server. So this is localhost forward slash game robogame.html. We looked at it in the last movie. 
about the web server aspect of it. We'll replay it here and we get, click here to begin. There's our high scores. Click here to begin. We play our game. Right. Shoot. And then we say game over. Uh, of course, I did not get a high score because my score is what? Zero. So we need to fill in our own score and our own name. So I'll just put in a name here. Okay. Let's say Ron and then score 49990, 49,990. And then we hit submit. And the load VARs tells us the score is posted, and then it plays. It went a little too quickly there. And let's see if Ron is in here. Hey, there's Ron. And then the score is posted to the high scoreboard. So there you have it. Um, the one thing I haven't shown you is the PHP file. This is the register.php file. And this connects to the database. We talked about some of these properties in the last movie. Um, and you can just copy this and it should work. This is working for um, a root uh, MySQL user with no password. So you have to put in your, your uh, MySQL user name here, your password here. This is the name of your database in MySQL. And then this is inserting into the users table. And this table, the users table has two fields the name field and the score field and then it's going to um, post the name property and the score property that was passed to it from the load vars object so this is set this name here is it's getting this um, value a name value and a score value from the load vars object and then when everything is um, if result equals true if this result works out then this variable created will equal um, score posted for and then the name and it'll echo that message out which then the flash player will pick up the message and put it in the message text box